think people should come out to check out Champion because it's a very compelling story. It's just, it's, it's drama. It's the story of Emil Griffith, who was a great fighter, champion in the 60s, who fought a guy by the name of Benny Perrette. The interesting thing about it is that Emil Griffith was gay. In the press conference, Benny Perrette, trying to get an edge on his opponent, outed him. I think his aggression got the better of him at a certain, at a certain point. The fight has been stopped, and the winner and new champion is Emil Griffith, but we're more concerned about the condition of uh, Benny Kid Perrette. He put Benny Perrette in a coma, and 10 days later, Benny Perrette died. Emil's life took a tailspin, but the interesting thing happened once he started to do his autobiography. He said, you know, I killed a man and the world forgave me, yet I love the man and the world wants to kill me. And I thought that was, first of all, I thought it was a very powerful statement, but unfortunately, it's still a very relevant statement. You know, to think that he had accomplished so much, but yet he still couldn't be free to live his life the way he would want to, I think is a tragedy. The story is so tragic, it just lends itself to opera. In this world, this other man's the man of you need to see opera alive. Opera is a living art form. It's only logical that champion can be done here. SF Jazz. Everybody in the opera world really respects what's going on here. This is one of those parts of the country where people have a passion for art. That's the reason why you see this building. This is built out of the blood, sweat, and tears of people who have a passion for art. Just look at what goes on here. There's so many similarities between jazz and boxing, it's incredible. There are only six punches in boxing, but it's how you use them, how you improvise, how you adjust in a situation. Same thing with playing on the bandstand with jazz musicians. One of the reasons why I'm very proud of Champion, people walked away talking about the meal story. It's a testament to who he was as a human being because whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're an athlete, you're still human. And I think that's what we relate to, the humanity of it. You have to come experience it. And I promise you, if you experience it one time, you'll be changed forever, like I was. You know, I wasn't a dude who was going to the opera. No, I went one time and look what happened. <laughs>